Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Wild Kitchen presented by Moultrie Mobile. In this video, we're making wild turkey parmesan subs. I love this recipe because in less than an hour, you take a classic Italian dish and turn it into something a little bit more fun for the family to enjoy. The first step in this recipe is to pound the wild turkey breast into an even thickness of approximately a half inch using a meat mallet. This helps break down the connective tissue and helps tenderize the wild turkey. Then we'll slice our wild turkey breasts into sandwich size cutlets. Next, we'll get out some paper towels and then pat the wild turkey breast dry using the paper towels. Make sure to do both sides. Now we're ready to create our three dredging stations. For the first station, we'll combine one cup of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of paprika, one teaspoon of Italian seasoning, one teaspoon of onion powder, and then a half teaspoon of black pepper. For our second station, we'll take four large eggs and crack them into the second bowl. Then we'll add two tablespoons of water and use a whisk to beat the eggs. Then for our third and final station, we'll add in two cups of Italian breadcrumbs. Now we're ready to coat our wild turkey breasts. We'll start by dredging the wild turkey cutlets one at a time into the three stations, starting by coating in flour, then dredging into the beaten eggs, and then finally coating in the breadcrumbs. As you finish coating the breadcrumbs onto the wild turkey, you can take them and place them on a wire rack as you continue this process with the rest of the turkey cutlets. Once you've finished coating all of the wild turkey cutlets, we can head over to our stove. Then we'll take a large skillet and heat it over medium high heat. Then we'll add in enough olive oil to cover about a quarter inch of the pan. Once the oil is hot, we'll add in the wild turkey pieces in batches, making sure not to overcrowd the pan. We'll cook our wild turkey cutlets until the breadcrumbs have formed a nice golden brown crust. This will take about three to four minutes per side. As we cook the wild turkey cutlets, we'll transfer them to a baking dish that we've sprayed with cooking oil. After we've browned all of our wild turkey cutlets, we can start getting out our Parmesan toppings. We'll need fresh mozzarella, grated Parmesan, and marinara sauce. We'll start with the marinara and add two to three tablespoons of it on top of every turkey cutlet. Then we'll place a couple slices of fresh mozzarella onto the turkey pieces, covering as much of the turkey as possible. Then we'll sprinkle with grated Parmesan over top. Once we've finished adding our toppings to the wild turkey cutlets, we're ready to hit the oven. I've already preheated my oven to 350 degrees. We'll bake our wild turkey cutlets until the cheese is browned and bubbly and the wild turkey pieces are fully cooked to at least 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Then we'll place our wild turkey cutlets onto an Italian roll and garnish with lots of fresh basil. You can also serve with additional marinara sauce on the side. As always, be sure to like this video and subscribe to Moultrie Mobile on YouTube for more wild game recipes.